darn it. Uh, gotta figure out how to flip this around. Oh, there it is. Hey guys. <laughs> and you're like, she went live, but where is she? So, yes, we are out at the land and we're doing what we do. <sighs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> of course, I look a hot mess, but I want you guys to see, like, um, the update of the land and how far we've come. Uh, so, in our last video, uh, in our very first video we did from the land, we did it up there on the road their way. So now you can see like where I was sitting on the platform if you saw the first video. Um, the platform is down there and we have now put a cabin there. In that there. Um, there are still piles of wood all down the trail as you can see. But the trail has stayed pretty clear. You can still hear like the cars passing by. Um, from where we have situated our camp, but, um, so right after the cabin is maybe, uh, 20 feet from that is the road itself. And then you would come down our driveway and all of that is pretty much dark at night. But this is the first time we've been here in April, so we have like all these beautiful shrubbery that grows up and actually um, keeps us kind of secluded away from the road um, when we're doing things like this. So, so um, let's do a tour. So we usually just pull the truck uh, right in here and then this is kind of like our car space of like, yeah, my sister came and visited one time and you know, she could just pull right there. Um, but this is basically how it's all set up. So you remember the coach and if you have any comments, just say so. Um, I don't have my glasses on me, but I'll try to read them. <laughs> so I wanted to do like a live though to let you guys know how everything is. So um, let's get past there. There. Okay. So this is uh, where the the RV is set up from the road. If you stand here, do a turnaround roads right there so the RV and up there hold on up there at the top is the Starlink so we can constantly get uh, internet and so forth and then oh I forgot to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there if you're listening to this on the replay so yeah um, we still have like our campfire over here and of course a ton of stuff the only addition we made was the bird houses that are over here and for some reason we get these really beautiful blue birds around here and they're not cardinals or anything like that they are something else but we haven't figured that out i changed arms because my arm was killing me um our burn pal with our boxes and of course our fire thing that we haven't started yet of course um that's for right now that's my husband's gun hole that he tests his guns out on um up here at the land because yeah that's probably the only place right now we can go unless we go to the gun range um like here this is the outside so we have the star link that goes up there come the court comes down and then goes inside where we are actually right now powering on a battery. We don't have the generator running, which is pretty cool. Um, we have these sun decks out here. Um, as you can see, uh, the sun decks. And they just keep like small stuff that we need outside um, right away. Uh, that doesn't go into the large cabin. I'm trying to get around to the where we go in. I'm not going to go in today. We're not going to do an inside tour, but because right now it's a hot mess, but <laughs> we're going to do an inside tour, but hold on, let me see if I can. I never can open this door right. Okay. But yes, we are still inside. And then uh, we have the water containers here. 
So this is a 65 gallon. This is new. Um, but this is this collects the six at least 65 gallons and then we have the 50 gallon over there and of course our outside garbage can which we don't really put food or anything in until we get ready to go and then um, we put it in there we still have the generator house running you see all the gas cans that we have we probably use maybe a gallon of gas a night um, but we're going down the other trail so the campers right here we're behind the camper now and then down here is a truck okay ah so sorry I'm getting away from the router that's why <laughs> the router is down there so what we have I'm not gonna go too far though but what we have is we have um uh, we get uh, woodpeckers here on the land so we have a woodpecker Thing with suet cakes and then I have like a solar light so at night I know where it is so if I hear birds early in the morning I know like you know at least what's attracting them I can kind of see it um, on the other side is the generator um, I am growing some lettuce because it's the cool side and the Sun doesn't get over there and then we're growing sunflowers like all around the generator to kind of uh, uh, in the comments um, so this is like my makeshift garden. It's been, it's just started getting cool here, kind of hot here. Um, so everything is growing. So don't judge me. And I'm not a gardener. I don't have a green thumb. I'm just playing around. So I have like, let me see if I can show you. I might have to stand a little bit away so you can kind of see. Um, so we have balm, lim, lemon balm, cilantro, basil um, over here. And then we have uh, more sunflowers growing back there. And this is more basil and lemon balm there. And then we have spinach. And I have to cut off all of that. Actually, that came from last year. That it's regrowing again, which is kind of good. And then we have the scallions. Let me show you. We have the scallion, the spinach, and then the scallions. And then the garlic should be shooting up soon in the black bucket and I put a cocoa core to kind of once it rains it'll spread out I have lavender and perennials and then more sunflowers these are smaller sunflowers over there then I have some uh, over here let me see if I can get a shot of that so don't judge my mess but I have um uh, asparagus growing here and then potatoes back there so and then uh, lavender is growing over in the corner along with some mint and then this is kind of like a flower thing I almost fell in the hole <laughs> I'm gonna fix that later I'll fix it in a second so I'll show you um, so we have a hummingbird feeder which is kind of cool because we get a whole bunch of hummingbirds here and then this is I'm trying to grow a rose this time but since it's so sandy here it doesn't grow roses very well so you have to keep them in the pots so right now I have a potted rose bush growing that's our water meter down there and some more smaller roses and so one of them finally bloomed and this is more lemon balm and more uh, mint different types of mint because it's ticks out here so we have basil and mint and a psyllium and lavender that grows to help keep kind of like our natural perimeter so the ticks don't you know bother us too much but it also creates like a way for the bees to come and have a home as well and then I made like a makeshift flower garden here for more bees and like I said hummingbirds we have a lot of hummingbirds here there and they're so pretty I never saw, like they'll come up right behind you and kind of scary okay so here's the the living part <laughs> so this my husband and let me see I gotta go a little bit ways away so you actually can see what we designed okay so everybody knows we have a gray tank in our RV if you don't know what a gray tank is go look it up I'm not gonna try to explain it anymore but we only put liquids down into our gray tank but we need it somewhere to flush all the gray and the black tanks out so what we did was my husband has dug a hole all the way 
into the ground and it's got rocks and a big barrel down in the ground so you see where the the weird rock is out of the thing so that has like a it's like 10 foot deep and we have a we have a little walkway so that's what I, I I'm not supposed to step on that that's our don't step on walkway because that's where the the tube goes down in there into the hole so we can drain our tank yay us we figured that out <laughs> so we could so when the generator is on you should see the generator is right there um, when the generators are on and we're able to run everything here um, it goes it just attaches right here behind the rain bucket but right now we are actually using a, a solar battery so that's why the generators are not on and we have power into the uh, RV because we can use that solar battery like all day every day so now we're gonna go down another pathway um, in there so this is my we had to build a new uh, address sign um, and right now I'm letting the paint dry so I painted it over and I just pulled the painters tape off so we can have another sign up here well down there at the end of the road so from the door of the trailer you turn directly around and there is another path started down there and that's the office shed so the office shed is going to be used so at night and I can't I don't know if it's going to make it or I'm going to go out <laughs> let's try <laughs> if I feel like if you can't hear me just say hey I can't hear you and I'll understand I'll, I'll pull back but uh, here we have the trail that goes down there and like I said the campers right there but then right here is the office shed we have not gone around there so I might not talk but I want you guys to kind of see we're actually doing rainwater catchment behind here because as you can see the roof is kind of slanted on the office shed and we haven't designed the office shed yet so but let me see if we can get back there without it going away from the router So what is that? That's like a, it's like 200 gallons of water that we can catch and we're able to then use it inside of the RV. We'll pump it inside of the RV. If you want to see the office shed. So this is the office shed. We haven't started designing it yet, but it'll be big enough to hold a desk and a desk and a small table we'll put like a little air conditioner heater inside and then we'll uh, be able to uh, work out there at night because I work like late at night so I'll be able to work out there at night without waking him up in the morning um, during the night so he can work in the morning because we can basically do both of our jobs uh, online so that's why we have uh, Starlink and then our backup uh, our backup internet is T-Mobile which we have like that $30 service um, that we use the little box we just plug it in so that's why we do need power is to power up the routers and to keep our phones charged throughout the day so yeah that's we have more bird feeders around we um, that that's one of the things that did change for this year we did add bird feeders to the land um, so it's kind of cool to see all the birds and like the rob the I'm sorry the woodpeckers are still going to town on these logs and it looks literally like Wolverine has attacked our logs around here um, but that's kind of still cool to keep the birds here so then they pick away the bugs but I'm outside only because it's a nice cool day and it's not a lot of bugs it's i've seen mosquitoes and maybe some flies or something but that's why i'm outside i'll do outside when it's nice like this we do need more sun because i'm trying to actually charge another battery to work throughout the night um for another device and it's a huge battery but we haven't got a lot of sun today but that's okay that's okay i'll i'll 
I'll be okay because it's not a lot of bugs. <laughs> but, um, oh, we added another security camera around. So when we're not here, we can watch the land if we want. Um, and then we're going to be adding some more trail cameras here. But yeah, I get a lot of work done when I'm out here because it's, of course, so quiet. You can actually hear a woodpecker around here somewhere. Um, but other than that, if you guys have any questions about anything that we're doing um, about living off grid, <laughs> how we did it. Um, I'm so glad we got that water system in. That's that's actually new from last year. My husband figured all of that out. I give him props because um, he wanted one of those big tanks, you know, so we could have water whenever, like literally now we'll have water on demand. And I have to say, oh, I hope it rained. So even when we're not here, we can collect water, which is kind of cool. So basically we are not connected to anything here if you don't know our story nothing is connected up here because it costs too much for us to have uh electricity here i think it's going to be like fifteen thousand. um since we're on a hill there are no pipes or anything running up here so that's why we do collect the water so we'll have water um so we gather rainwater. um we put uh bleach tabs in it and um the little it's some water purifying tabs as well and then we pump it into our rv but we have drinking water we do bring our own drinking water um and then we have backup a backup berkey if i told you about the berkey before but it it'll clean like 99.99 percent .99 of the water um, if we have to drink it, but we usually have like a case of water here all the time at the land um, And then we'll bring uh, at least about seven gallons of water uh, When we decide to stay up here depending on um, like how long we'll stay and it's not that far from home So it's kind of like overnight we can come or stay a little but if we have to go back home we can I've done events where I've had to come here and then go to the event and then drive back here and it, it was it's rough but i figured it out <laughs> get a lot of rest but yeah you do um but that's about it i think i think that's it um i'm gonna do a tour on the inside um later on but i just wanted to get a quick update um of the new season being out here on the land so yeah if you guys have any questions put them in the comments if you're watching this later or on my other social medias then just yeah leave your comments there or questions and i'll gladly answer and how we did stuff if you're interested and in how we go camping and just do the things that we do so yeah um if you're some people had asked like are we going to get a cabin out here or anything like that we're probably thinking about 2025 maybe a cabin for right now we want to just get the systems in place a routine in place um get a lot of this wood just cleared away and um and just be able to like okay not see all this wood <laughs> i don't know i know some people are struggling for wood but Oh my god, if you want to just drive here and pick it up, please come on. <laughs> we would gladly give it to you. But yeah, um, watch everything if you just joined us on the replay so you guys can get the update. And thank you guys for like watching our journey. Um, I'll give you guys one last sweep of like where we are. Like I said, I am in front of the door. And that's our thing. That's our truck that we pull everything with. And this is like kind of like what we see in the morning. This is our morning view when we are here every morning. So that's kind of like a nice peaceful, nice peaceful view. And you know, usually we'll have the awning out, but it's like such a cloudy day. We don't need the awning, but we can actually sit out here in front and see that view if we wanted to. Um, I know we are going to add a deck here in front of the RV. That's one of my husband's goals is to add like a deck area here. Um, and then he wants to add like a sauna like over here in that area or down the trail in that area. Um, 
and we got a lot of wood to burn so it will use it on that so yeah um but other than that yeah see you guys thanks for joining us on this journey and i'll keep you guys updated bye